Hey everybody, so if you're one of those people who has been asking me to make the video on how to get a user's roles on Discord, uh, the video is finally here. So sorry for not getting it out sooner, but let's get into it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first tutorial for PHP where we made a login with Discord button on YouTube. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is if you just wanted to quickly get to where we are in this video. Um, all we're going to do is go on the video, uh, go to the code, we're going to get the GitHub URL, we're going to open up our text editor, we're going to clone GitHub, I'm using VS Code, so it's as easy as hitting clone GitHub repo, I'm going to paste in the URL, clone from URL, and it's going to ask me, I'm on Linux, it's going to ask me where I want to put this folder. So let's see, I think I have a Discord folder, we'll call it role create and I'll select that repo. I'll open it up and okay, now we have all of the code that we made in that video. But if you haven't seen that video, I encourage you to watch it. It'll get you up to speed. It's pretty easy. Okay, um, we have an index page where we land and it's the dashboard to log in. We have an error, a dashboard. This is login protected. We have init OAuth and we have process OAuth. And so I'll catch us all up and we'll go um, to our index first. Okay, so uh, our index goes to our init OAuth, which is the first redirect link that we need. And so we're going to start that by going to the Discord developer dashboard, creating a new application. We're going to call this role. Well, I'll call it roles. I'm going to agree to the terms. And we need that URL. And so to get the URL, all we have to do is go into our OAuth 2.0 and add a redirect. And to add this redirect, we need to figure out where in the heck are we going to send this user when they first um, go to process. So I'm going to open this up with my live server and I have a, a extension. It's a pretty, I don't know, uh, I don't want to say low key extension, but I, I haven't seen many people use this extension. It's just a PHP server extension that uses my built in, um, PHP that I have on Linux, PHP 7.4. And we're going to boot up our server and we have PHP. If you need a tutorial on that, let me know. But here we go. We have the actual Discord, login with Discord button, and we have the internet auth. So I'm not going to redirect the user here. I'm going to redirect the user to process-oauth.php. That's what's going to process our incoming redirect, okay? So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to copy that over into my redirects here, and I'm going to save that. All right, good. Uh, we'll save changes here. Next, we're going to take our client ID, and we're going to take it to our process OAuth. So again, we're just catching everybody up to speed. If you've done this already, then that is good stuff. I'm going to get this new secret because I'm going to have to um, uh, get my phone out for this one because it's two-factor authentication. So I'm going to pause real quick. OK, and I've opened it up. So I'm going to copy this over again to our process OAuth into our client secret here. And we need that redirect URI that we uh, specified earlier here. So I'm going to take that, paste it in here. And we're going to leave this scope alone for now. Now, the uh, the thing is, we're almost done. So all we're going to do is go to our URL generator, get identities, and we're going to select that redirect URL we created, copy that over, go into init OAuth, and hopefully, let's see, let's paste it in here. And let's go to our index screen here and hit login with Discord. And that is all you need to get started, right? I'll hit authorize and we're off to the races. We're back up to speed. I don't even know how many minutes that was. I don't think it was that long. Okay. So in order to move forward and get the user's roles, we're going to start over here. We're going to log out. Now, if you noticed in this checkbox, we only asked for the identity. That's not enough to get the user's roles. So what we'll do is we're going to also check guild.members.read and we're going to copy this new URL and we're going to put this new URL into init OAuth.php. So that's step one. Step two is going to be actually getting this information from Discord on process OAuth. The good thing is it's super easy. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to write a function down here. And this function is going to handle asking Discord for this new data. And the good thing is I already have this function created. So I'm going to get this here. And guys, the written guide is in the description if you just want to copy and paste the code real quick. So I added this function, get guild object access token guild ID. What is this access token? If you're not sure, watch the uh, first video on this, but basically it's giving us authorization from Discord to act on behalf of this user because they hit, yes, I want to log in. And so with that access token, we can then ask Discord and say, hey, Discord, can you give us um, information on you know, the user who's logging in, so that's that at me, on their guilds, on a specific guild ID, so we're going to pass the server ID in here, 
and member is going to give us the actual uh, role information, okay? And so Discord's going to say, yep, here you go, here's the object for this. Now, to do this, let's come up here and let's make a, um, a line that actually gets the guilds, okay? Or, or sorry, not the guilds, the actual guild object. So once we have the access token, and I'm going to run this first code that kind of gives us our basic user information, but I'm going to do guild object is equal to and it's going to go get guild object with the access token and I need some kind of server ID, right? And so how do I get this already? Super easy. Go to Discord and we're not here. We're going to right click our server, hit copy server ID. And now I'm going to get the guild object for basically that user, the access token, who's ever logged in and then that um, uh, server ID as well. So we want that specific server from here we're going to get back this response. And so I'll show you what this response looks like. It looks like this. It gives me who I am, what my avatar is, and this is great, but what am I interested in? The user's roles on that server. And so in here, we're gonna go and access this object in an object, the roles, and we're gonna make a new, um, a new variable called guild roles, and then we're gonna check who, that, who this is. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here, and I'm gonna get the guild object roles, so it's gonna be called guild roles. For the user, um, we're, we're gonna start with a default, right? So we're gonna say the role default is a user, and then if they have this role ID, I'm gonna make them an admin. If they have this role ID, I'm gonna make them a moderator. And why am I using in array and not equals equals? Well, because the response gives it to us in an array. So I have to see in this array, do they have the administrator role, or do they have the moderator role. Okay. So um, if they do great, if not, they're going to default to being a user, then we're going to session start them. And how about we add their role into here as well, right? So I'm going to make their role. And instead of sending them to the dashboard, let's send them to their own special unique page. And so I already have the logic written out here, down, down, down here. And let's go like that. And so instead of all this stuff, we're going to get rid of this exit. And now if they're an admin, send them to the admin lounge. If they're a moderator, send them to the moderator lounge. If they're, if they're just a user, send them to the dashboard. Now, real quick, how did I get these crazy numbers? Okay, all you have to do is go into your Discord, go to your server settings. Um, so I'm gonna go server settings and you can hit roles here. And in your roles, maybe I want the moderator or I want the uh, admin ID, I'll hit more, copy role ID, that's all you need. Okay, moving forward. Um, so now we have this redirect. Now I don't have this page yet, so let me just create it real quick. I'm gonna create the admin lounge and I'm just gonna get some really basic markup for the admin lounge and I'll explain it to you here. So this is just a page where you get redirected. If they don't have the user data role admin, then we're gonna send them to uh, an error page. And if they do have it, well then we're just gonna hit welcome admin, okay? Now let's make a moderator lounge real quick. And we'll copy and paste the same thing, except for where it says admin, we're gonna say moderator. Okay, so let's test it. Right now, do I have any roles on the server? Well, I'm a, I'm a moderator, okay? So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna try logging in again with Discord. I'm gonna hit login with Discord. I'm gonna authorize. See how this is that new scope? That's what it's asking for. Hit authorize. And then here, we're in the moderator lounge. Perfect. Um, it's not saying welcome moderator which is making me a little bit upset, but we're not gonna get too hung up on that for now. Um, it might be because the text is not there, but uh, let's see what happens if we have the uh, admin role. So let me close this out. I'm gonna get rid of moderator and I'm gonna get admin in here, okay? And so in admin, if I now go back all the way to my index and I hit login with Discord, it's not gonna send me to the admin lounge, which is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted, right? And then finally, let's just say I don't have any of these roles. I'm gonna close this out and I'm going to add, uh, well, we can just add some random role, community man, right? And we're gonna go back and back, log in with Discord, authorize, and here we go. We're just going to the dashboard. So um, that is how you basically get the user's roles figure out which role it is. And internally, I know what role ID corresponds to what. So I get my code to send one person to one place, one role to another place. Uh, and all of those pages are protected on the server side. So nobody could just go to this page and access it. 
Um, and that's that in this tutorial. Thanks for watching.